Shaft. The Ultimate Adventure. These are the chess games of the Starship Onprise. Our five-year mission to explore new positions, seek out new moves, to boldly play like no one has played before. Start date 2275.4. The crew is in an intergalactic chess tournament. The mission is to foster intergalactic friendship through the game of chess. Unlike Earth chess, the entire crew can help offer advice. The game will be played aboard our starship, the Onprise, with me making the final decision. We expect tough matches, and the crew is looking forward to the challenge. Mr. Shock. Captain, our first match is against the Stalians. Though brilliant tactically, they are known to try to attack ruthlessly and recklessly. They are known to employ their queen early in the effort of a quick checkmate. On the whole, a very dangerous group, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Shock. Spotty, how's our power? We have full power, Captain. We have not lost any pieces. Kulu? Uh, we have the white pieces, Captain. Great. I love playing with the white pieces. Captain, the Stalayans have signaled that they're ready for our first move. Thank you, Lieutenant Ifulia. Signal that we will make our first move shortly. Shock! Captain, I suggest we follow our standard opening. Jones? Darn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a chess player. Very well. Mr. Shock, I agree. Mr. Kulu, play pawn to E4. Aye, aye, Captain. Pawn to E4 has been played. Captain, a transmission is coming in from the Stalayans. They've played in response, pawn to E5. Shock? The response E5 allows the Stalians freedom of movement for their queen and their dark square bishop. It is one of the best responses to our move E4. I give the odds of our victory approximate 50.3476%. Kulu, knight to F3. Aye, aye, Captain. Knight to F3 has been played, Captain. It detects the E5 pawn. Fascinating. Readings indicate that the Stalians are thinking about their decision a little too long. This suggests to me that they are contemplating a surprising move. Ah! Red alert! Shields up! Shock! Shields up, Captain. Transmission in, Captain. The move is queen to F6. Mr. Shock. Captain, analysis shows that the Stalians love to bring their queen out early. This on the face of it seems very powerful because it gets the strongest piece in the game and also protects the e5 pawn. Bringing the queen out early is actually a superficial strategy because it exposes your strongest piece to untold of dangers. Since the queen is so powerful and valuable, she can be pushed around by other smaller... Like the pawns, Mr. Shuck? Exactly, Ensign. Recommendations. I recommend bringing the knight out to the square to c3, Captain. Here, it might jump to d5 and harass the queen. It is the strong and logical reply. I suggest, Captain, that we play pawn to open the position and make our piece more active. Jones? Darn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a chess player. Why bring out the queen so early? Why do it unless they want to attack me with it? Gentlemen, your suggestions were logical and full of wisdom. However, I am going to play bishop to c4. Captain? Mr. Kulu, play bishop to c4. Need I remind you that moving the bishop away from your king's side when the queen is so near can be dangerous. Also, it leaves your pawns in a vulnerable state. But, Captain... Bishop to c4, mister, and that's in order! Aye, aye, Captain. Captain, the bishop has been deployed to the square c4. Captain, 
Are you aware that your last move has left two pawns vulnerable? Not only am I aware of it, Mr. Shock, I am counting on it. Captain, the Stelaeans have played their queen to the G6 square. Captain, we have two pawns under attack. What in blazes is going on up there? Kulu, play our other knight to C3. We have left a valuable pawn that was protecting our king unprotected. We will probably lose a pawn. Sacrifice, Mr. Shock, sacrifice. The Scalaeans have taken to the G2 pawn. The invading queen is threatening to take our rock with a check. I can barely hold it together. Hang on, Spotty. Quickly, Kulu. Play the rook to G1. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, G1. The rook is now attacking the queen because it is being protected by the knight. Captain, they've moved their queen to the square H3. Quickly, Kulu. Play the bishop to square F7. Uh, with check, Captain. Exactly. With check, Mr. Kulu. Bishop played to F7, Captain. The Black King is now in check. Mr. Shock, what are they doing? Scanning, Captain. They appear to... Yes, they are taking the Bishop, Captain. They are taking the Bishop. Captain. Yes, I know, Kulu. Play the Knight to G5 and check them again. Knight to G5. The Stellanes resign. 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 But why, Captain? Mr. Shock. The reason for surrender ensign is the Stalians will have to give up their queen. Their king and queen are attacked at the same time, or forked if you will, and since the king has to move, the queen will be captured by our knight on the next move. A brilliant strategy, Captain. Devised to take away the peace that the Stalians value above all, their queen. Yes, when they lost their queen, they lost their will to fight. But they should have developed all their pieces as a unit, and not relied too heavily on just one. Chess is a team effort, and if the team doesn't all work together as a unit, then victory can scarcely be won. Right, Jones? Gosh darn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a philosopher. Mm -hmm.